Hi everybody, this is Cindy from Ideas Times 2. Welcome back to our channel. Um, I apologize. I'm going to apologize now because I've been having trouble with volume and I thought it was my camera, or not my camera, my microphone. So I got a new microphone and that didn't do the trick. So I'm hoping um, I can get it figured out. But until then, you'll just have to turn up your volume. Um, or I'm going to have to start yelling one or the other. Uh, but today I'd like to talk about uh, crafting while traveling. Uh, I have uh, been paying attention to a lot of the, the chat rooms and the questions that people ask. You know, what do you take when you travel? Or I'm going to be in a long car ride and I want to um, uh, do some crafting to while away the time. Or, you know, I'm in a camper. And so I thought I would share what I do, what my organization uh, is and how I keep everything contained when I'm traveling and uh, I just got back from a four-day model UN conference uh, 48 high school students and um, I, I didn't have a lot of downtime but I did manage to uh, get a few things made and this is what I took this is kind of my crafting uh, while traveling kit and so you can see it's just a your standard three ring binder right um, I got a two inch binder because I didn't want to get too heavy or bulky uh, I want to be able to just slip it into a, a tote bag and not have to um, you know worry about its weight or um, you know weighing me down I have a very strict rule that I can't take more than I can personally carry so this is a, a good way for for me and so I thought I would share that with you today. And so um, uh, this is literally just, you know, a $7 um, binder uh, from my Walmart or Target or something. And um, on the inside, I, I, I use pretty much all of the space. And so it's got pockets in the front I can slip things. But um, the... Uh, um, it's the three ring part that actually kind of keeps me organized and so I have a basically just a pencil pouch but this one is expandable it's got a nice um, you know a nice uh, a full inch on the bottom it's got three rings so I can slip it into the binder and I don't lose it and uh, on the inside uh, let's see I'm going to move this out of the way so we can look at the inside of my pencil pouch. And this, this one has a zipper so that I don't lose anything. And on the inside, I keep the basics. I have two pair of scissors, uh, one just kind of general crafting scissor and another pretty sharp uh, that I use for fussy cutting um, when, I, uh, when I do it. I'm not big on, uh, on that. I, I have rheumatoid arthritis and sometimes doing a lot of, uh, you know, fine cut work uh, hurt, uh, hurts my hands. But I, I carry them with me because you never know, right? Uh, a small bottle of glue. Um, Fabri-Tac is my preference. Um, but uh, obviously there's room I could slip a, um, a you, uh, an you who, uh, an uh, glue stick in here um, if, I, if I wanted to. And I, I like vintage looks, so I've got my, um, my ink and my blending tool. I also stuck in here a small ruler and some various textiles, uh, some you know, cheesecloth, some muslin, some... Uh, the journal that I'm currently working on is really grungy, and so I threw in some... Uh, uh, burlap, a little bit of twine, and some other little things I thought I might want to use for this specific journal I'm working on. Some really grungy uh, doilies, some little ephemera things and little bags. And because it's grungy, I put in a, a file and a pencil, and, and that's it. You really don't need a lot. Uh, if you are working on 
a project, and that's something I, I highly recommend, that don't, um, that have an idea in mind what you're going to do instead of just, um, you know, think, oh, I want to craft, think about specifically what you want to make, uh, because then you will pack what you need and you'll, you won't waste space. And space is always an issue, um, I find when I travel. Um, 48 kids on a bus with a handful of adults, they take up a lot of room, let me tell you. Um, I take a small suitcase, a, a tote bag, and my purse, and, and that's about it. So um, I have to make sure that my crafting supplies are what I need. So that's just the basics, you know, a little textile, a little ink, uh, some glue and scissors, and um, I could throw a few other things in there, but really, um, I didn't, um, for what I was, what I'm specifically working on, I didn't pack more than that. Um, but easily, um, you know, your bone folder um, could slip in there pretty easily. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, some uhu uh, or a glue stick. Um, and you have everything you need in one spot, right? Um, what else do I have in my, in my binder? Um, I have my uh, Fiskars. Um, trimmer and I just have the small one and um, I really like this one because it has a wire guide on there and I find it keeps my lines pretty my cuts pretty straight um, but also of course it has the the rings on the side so I can slip it in my binder and I don't need to um, you know worry about having to find more space for it so I just slipped that in here. And uh, a, a tip that I would recommend, make sure you have a fresh blade. If you're traveling, pack either pack an extra blade or change your blade before you go. Uh, so I also have in here uh, just some pockets that um, uh, these are, are pretty cheap. One thing I like about them is that these are expandable and can actually hold about 100 pieces of um, printer paper. And they came in a pack of, gosh, I don't know, 20 maybe. And, um, you know, they're, they're cheap. I, I, you know, if I uh, smush these or, or tear them, I can easily replace them. Um, but you can fit a lot of stuff in these, and I, I really like that. So, um, uh, like, you know, like I already said, I just packed the basics. So I put some uh, vintage... Uh, papers in here, um, you know, ledger paper, specifically uh, ledger papers for this project. Um, I packed a, um, I left one in here empty so that as I made things, I had a place to put them. Uh, I, uh, the journal that I'm making right now, uh, the theme is kind of grungy library, and so I printed out a, a bunch of pages of uh, ephemera and uh, a kit and uh, packed them in here and I the first night I was in the hotel room I cut that's all I did I cut out a whole bunch of uh, ephemera and so this is what I didn't use uh, or partially used but um, when I sat down to work I had everything already cut which was which was really handy um, I packed a pocket full of uh, grungy pieces of paper, uh, things that I thought would fit my theme, and just off cuts and little scraps of paper, and uh, another pocket full of uh, things I thought I might work on if I had time. So I've got papers and um, a vintage bingo card. Uh, CD envelope that I had already coffee stained and just, you know, music sheets and things for embellishing and collaging. And so that was in one pocket. And the last pocket was some um, book pages, a, a book dictionary, and some coffee stained paper. And um, that's really.
really it. That's all I all I packed. Uh, just really the basics because I didn't know how much time I was going to have, and um, I I didn't feel like I needed to have too much stuff, but really just just enough. And so, um, you know, that's kind of my travel kit. Just one everything in one place. Um, lightweight, pretty easy to carry, slip in, slip in a tote bag or backpack without any problems. Uh, one thing, other thing I wanted to uh, kind of share is kind of using what's there, right? Using what's at the hotel uh, to help uh, with your crafting process. Um, I had a few things with me that, uh, oh, some cardstock that I had not coffee stained, but since this journal is grungy and super grungy actually, um, I needed to coffee stain some cardstock. And so my hotel room had a coffee pot and little packs of coffee grounds. And so in the bathroom uh, on the marble countertop, I coffee stained some papers and the blow dryer was right there. So I dried everything real fast and I was able to, um, Kind of extend the things that I brought uh, with me. Um, the hotel, you know, pretty much all hotels have the uh, do not disturb sign. I grabbed one of those. I thought I might use this for something. Uh, uh, my key uh, was, you know, tucked in here and I've used these before and they make cute little tuck spots and so I grabbed that. Um, I don't drink coffee, but the hotel that we stayed in had hot chocolate, and so um, I had a couple of cups of hot chocolate, and I, I kept these, and I'll use those for uh, a belly band or something. And then um, I had a sub, and it has a little bit of grease on here, so I'm not sure how, um, how that's going to work, but if I use it in my current project, um, you know, the grungier the better. So I just pretty much kept everything that I thought might work in a journal, but I didn't want to get crazy and go around the hotel stealing all the do not disturb signs. But um, uh, I, I did grab what I thought, kind of what I paid for, right? Um, I was in the hotel for three nights and um, just took some of the things that were in my room that I thought would work well in this project. Um, cause you know, junk journals are about using what you have. And so, um, this is my, uh, my suggestion for, uh, for if you're traveling, um, you know, you can do your cutting, do your staining, make a few tags. And so all you need is a binder and a couple of pockets and you're good to go. So, um, that is, um, my tip number one. Um, we're actually, uh, Betsy and I are going to be doing a um, kind of a series of tips and pointers and uh, kind of things that we've learned uh, as uh, crafters and junk journalers and things we wish we had done differently or things we haven't, we bought, which, which we wish we hadn't wasted the money on. And so this was tip number one, um, how to travel and craft. And so I hope that was helpful. And uh, I'd like to share kind of what I made. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of time. And some of the time, my crafting time, was um, coffee staining some papers and cutting things out. Um, while I was at Model UN, I also graded a ton of essays. And so uh, I didn't craft as much as I wish I could have, or even that I could have. I just you know, the life of an English teacher, uh, there are always papers to grade. So um, I'm making two journals uh, in the same theme, Grungy Library. So some of what I did are kind of duplicates. They're not exactly the same, but these tags are, or cards are, um, you know, really grungy coffee stained cardstock with some coffee stained paper on the back and a little bit of collaging on there. And I just got home from work today. I sewed uh, sewed around the edges and did a little bit of wonky stitching on there. Um, two tags, same thing. I, I sewed them today. Um, 
you know, like I said, on a bus with 48 kids, there's no room for a sewing machine. Uh, so I, I made a couple of tags with a collage on here and um, uh, the back is um, blank at the moment. I haven't decided if I'm going to grunge these up even more. Um, I might, uh, but for now they are, you know, pretty much ready to go. I also did two envelopes. Um, I stained these, coffee stained these at the hotel, so they're pretty, pretty grungy. I haven't decided if this is going to be a flip or if I'm just going to put it over um, a page, but um, it has some of the uh, a 1939 ledger paper in here and then some things from the kit uh, that I packed with me and this one is the same uh, oh well a little different but the same uh, elements since I'm doing two journals and then I have this um, envelope and I flipped it uh, flipped the, um, the flap over and glued it down and collaged on each side and this one has well and collaged on the back as well and this one has a um, card in it that I collaged and the other side just has a couple of ephemera cards in there at the moment I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave those in there or make something new I haven't I haven't decided and uh, this bag I coffee stained at the hotel and you know grunged this up and then I just sewed it on here so it's a um, a tuck spot there and then one here and then I haven't well I haven't finished obviously but this is the stuff I managed to get done at the hotel including cutting out a ton of ton of stuff little words and tags and and labels and whatnot so um, uh, that's my tip for today uh, you can travel and you can keep your stuff together and keep it neat and and um, actually get things done while you're traveling and still have a lot of fun because you know nobody when you're traveling nobody wants to just hang out in the hotel room but in your downtime you know uh, use use the time you have so thank you so much for joining us today and um, keep your eyes open for more videos uh, video tutorials uh, tips hints pointers and um, if you have not already, already subscribed, please do so. We appreciate our subscribers so much. Um, like the video, give us a thumbs up, and we love your comments. If you have any uh, tips uh, that you would like to share, or especially for traveling, since that's what this video is about, um, go ahead and put that down in the comment back box. We would love to hear from you. So thank you so much again, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.